FSD supervised 12.3.6. And I don't know where my car's going. There's no lines in this parking lot, but you know what? We're going to see if we can navigate through this hectic parking lot during lunch rush. Again, there's no lines, and we're gonna see if I can get my butt home without killing somebody like this guy. Look at that. Oh, mission tortilla guy. <laughs> FSD caught it real quickly. I love this. It's so cautious around human beings that come out of nowhere because I didn't even see the guy. So I've got a car here, a person here. What are we gonna do, Tesla? What are we gonna do? We're going around the people in the almost in the middle of the road. Dude, this is amazing. Amazing just based on what I just saw right here. I'm already thoroughly impressed with this software. Freaking ridiculous. Ridiculous how it just navigated around those people. Everybody says, oh, it's so dangerous. You got to watch out for this software. It kills people. No, it doesn't. So it doesn't know where to go, though. I will say that. It doesn't know where to go, so I'm going to correct this. Um, I can't really fault that. It's a hectic parking lot. I don't know why it wanted to go there. It knows I have to go out here on the right, but... So I will say it's very cautious around people. It's better than ever at navigating. But in this parking lot, it seems to have trouble with the 15 different avenues you can turn down. So ah, it's confusing. There's no lines. Do we really fault the FSD software for that? I, I just, I really don't know. So um, where do we go from here? We gotta go right. There's traffic on my right. There's none on my left yet. And we're turning right confidently. Very smooth, okay? And off we go on to the busy, 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 busy M22, baby. Uh, so we got a car in front of us, got traffic approaching to the left. Uh, blind spot, I can't see anything. I sure can't see anything around those bushes. Person behind me, let's see. Let's see how quickly we can run out of this. So we got a guy turned in left, come on, come on now. Creep zone, and there it goes and we're in the wrong lane. We're on the shoulder. We're currently on the shoulder. <laughs> uh, uh, is that good? I don't think so, but it seems that Tesla FSD supervised struggles in country roads because there is very little data collected on these roads. In my humble opinion, I think that's the biggest problem or threat to FSD software is the outlier conditions such as mine in these country roads. It's not city driving per se, so it's different than what this software is accustomed to doing. That's why I'm driving. I'm trying to get this data collected for Tesla, honestly. That's why I do it. So yeah, we went into the shoulder. It quickly realized, hey, I don't think this is the right place for me. Turns its turn signal on, gets into the right lane. It's only one lane, but again, you have this wide shoulder in the country roads. So um, I'm intervening more on 12.3.6 in rural places. I think if I took this to the city, it would do a hundred times better than what it does in the country for some reason. Again, data collection is probably an issue on these roads. So quickly noting, it's very confident, it's very smooth in turns, and especially I did a drive earlier. But again, I had to intervene because it was a non-lethal intervention, if you will, or non-critical. It's just, it's not staying in the correct lanes. It's being a little bit too aggressive, choosing the wrong lane. Um, not that it was critically wrong, but those are the critics and critiques I've got so far. I do think the software would do insanely better in the heart of Traverse City. Because the last drive I did there, it was perfect exceeded my expectations. We always seem to have trouble in the country roads. So one of the more boring drives you're gonna probably see, but again, I do this trip all the time, so it's fun to see the differences. Has it gotten better? Has it gotten worse? Well, it's gotten better with fluid turning, decision-making, confidence. It's gotten worse again with lane choice. Uh, it's picking wrong driveways and parking lots that are unmarked. Is that Tesla's fault? I don't know. Could be. Maybe it's not. But I'll tell you guys, it's this is a busy, busy road come summertime, and we're getting close. It's May. So, a couple more weeks. A few more weeks. This is going to be hectic around here. 
All the tourists like to come up here. I see that sometimes this software likes to stay under the right side of the lane, creating more separation from oncoming traffic. I'm not mad about that. Even as right now, it's hugging the right a little bit. It used to be perfectly centered all the time. I'm not opposed as long as it's still in the lanes. Still within the boundaries, it's fine. Uh, nagging, it seems to be maybe nagging the same or even a little bit more than before. I really wish they would do away with that or give you some kind of like driver score on if you're allowed to get rid of the steering wheel nag, it's annoying. Especially for people who have been beta testing for a long time or now supervised testing. I like how they dropped the beta. FSD beta no more, FSD supervised. first impressions it's good um, I'd like to test this in the city I do think we regressed a little bit on country driving <laughs> unfortunately in my opinion it's having trouble deciphering shoulders and uh, which avenues to pick in parking lots my biggest critique is it fluid is it confident is it very good at making decisions quickly yes it is it's cautious around humans I love it so as we are making a right, typically we'd want to get into the shoulder a little bit more. FSD beta not doing that. Now it goes, ah, that, was, ah, that was smooth. That was probably the most smooth fluid turn I've gotten under Fort Road. Wow. Wow. In 500 feet, your destination is on the right. So fluidity is good. Confidence is very good. We're going to end it there, guys.